But where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. while he snuck out of town. Hmm. decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. Okay, I need to just get another one. Thank you. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. What, 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 what? Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Oh, you are shit out of luck. Fuck, aber in seinem dummen Scheißloch kann ich nicht reinschießen, oder was? Oh, kein Ammo. Come on, wie viele Schüsse verträgt der Sack?
Jonas nicht gut. Ja, jetzt habe ich keine Ammo mehr. Wenn nicht Ammo aufgesammelt. Taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street. Eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Well, Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. Pat Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was off. So where'd you go after Lincoln? 
Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clanton himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clanton. He fucking running. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising, being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Okay. Bandits wore red there. scarves. I did my best to help those poor bastards. Come on. Moments later, the attackers were dead, and I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. Zusätzlicher Zoom beim Zielen. Okay. Oh, come on. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks were in hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apaches often do. Uh -huh. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use what? of the high ground and whatever else they had. Oh. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere. The Apaches. And there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? What happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's Cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. Where's he going? See, at the time, I was still pretty green, but often blundered in regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. Whoa, shit. 